Hi there, this is Jack from the Spitfire Audio Customer Experience team. In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview of the user interface controls for the evolutions within Ambient Guitars. To load one of the evolutions patches, click the Instruments tag from the Library pane of Ambient Guitars. Navigate to the Feedback Evo Grid, and from this folder, by double-clicking, we can see that there is an NKI for the evolutions. You can load this by double-clicking the NKI or dragging and dropping to the right-hand side. The main part of this user interface is the pegboard. This is also known as the grid. Up the y-axis we have the 12 different note centers and across the x-axis we have the 16 evolution types. By clicking any one of the pegs we can map different evolutions to different key ranges. Notice how these are reflected on the keyboard at the bottom of contact. Above the pegboard is a dice option. This allows us to randomize various different evolutions. So for example, I could randomize with soft distortion and I have a completely array which would be unique to myself. Below the pegboard we have three different controls. We have an effects master on and off switch. This decides whether the evolution is sent to the effects which are located on the right hand side of the user interface. Next we have a volume control which exists per evolution and we also have a pan control which exists per evolution. Moving to the right hand side of the interface we have the mic mixer. Here we can see there are four different options for microphones. We have A1, A2, A3 and also R which is a room mic. These are for three different amplifiers. To the right hand side of the user interface we have the four different signal options. We have three different amplifiers A1 to A3 and we also have a room microphone. Any microphone can be dragged in volume or it can be toggled on and off. By clicking the symbol below the microphone, we can route these to a different output of contact. To the right of the user interface, we have the expression controls, dynamics, variation, and expression. Dynamics allows you to crossfade the different velocity layers of the library. Because this is an evolutions library, this only works as a volume control, but it's mapped to MIDI CC number one. The variation control allows the user to eat into the samples by 6 seconds. What this allows you to do is it allows you to set different looping points within the evolution, meaning you can customise the evolution more to your taste. Below variation is expression, which is a volume control which operates within the master volume of the library. This is mapped to CC number 11. Below this is the amplitude envelope, also known as an ADSR, which stands for attack, decay, sustain and release. Attack is how long it takes for the sound to fade in. Decay is how long it takes for the sound to decay from the attack level down to the sustain level where it will remain until you let go of the key. The release is how long it takes for the sound to decay to zero once you let go of a key. Below the ADSR we have the effects controls where we have a reverb level, a delay level and also a tape saturation level and controls per effect. For reverb we have a pre-delay, a size and return option Within delay, we have time, dampening, panning, feedback, and also the return level. And within tape saturation, we have a gain control, a warmth option, and a high frequency roll off option. Each one of these evolutions can be found within the individual evolutions folder on the left hand side. By loading any one of these into contact, you can see that it is a slightly different interface. This is our BML interface, which is much more simple. There are four microphones, as before, and we also have dynamics and expression. By clicking the spanner, we can access a more advanced view. This allows us further options such as mapping the velocity curves of the library, retaining mix presets by clicking the music note toggle to the right of the microphones. We also have a floppy disk option which allows the user to reset mix settings, copy mix settings, paste, load or save mix presets. Below the presets we have a purge and used option. By clicking this, this means that now when I load any particular parameter, the memory of the patch does not change. We then have a transpose and a CC map velocity function. The CC map velocity function doesn't do anything within these patches, likewise with the round robin options. On the right hand side again we have the expression controls, dynamics and expression. If you have any further questions about ambient guitars please get in touch with us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks.